Hey guys, welcome to another video by DJ SPRC. I want to take a couple of seconds today to show you guys how to mesh your gear meshing from your mower, your spur to your pinion. Now this guy's from my two wheel drive uh, slash rustler or bandit. That's going to be the same, but again, the it's the same principle applies on every vehicle. You'll have a pinion and you have your spur. You want the meshing between both of them. Perfect. If it's not, that's where you create damage and you eat your spur or even your pinion, depending on what the vehicle. Sometimes both will be steel and you'll create more damage. Now, basically what I do, I bolted my motor back in, loosen, but make sure both are loosened and put them tight together. Now you can see they're physically tight. Now, this is not the way you need to want, you need it or you want it. Uh, Basically, if you keep it tight like this guy right here, this plastic, when you're driving, it will flex, okay? It seems to be hard plastic, but it does flex. Now, what's going to happen is both are going to become tighter together, and that's where the damage will be created. Now, you could back it off a bit, and see, it's still touching, but sometimes when I turn it, it skips. Now this is basically when you have it too far and if it, the plastic starts moving, you're going to start stripping it. You wanted a perfect meshing between both. What I do is bring them tight together. I tighten one screw up. That way it gives me a little bit more friction. And I just take the motor out a bit. Tighten this one up. And I just want a little bit of rocking. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. Brought it closer to the mic. And this is what you want. Now, this is going to be extremely hard to show you guys. Not sure if the camera will grab this. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Between both right here, that's where you physically want the gearing. If I take my fingers here and basically put them together like a gear mesh. Too tight, not good. Too loose, not good. You want it like in the middle of your fingers. That way if the case starts flexing inside, you still have room. If it starts flexing outside, you still have room. That's one of the reasons you want your gear mesh perfect. I get asked the question a lot, why do I eat spur? Should I go with steel spur? That's not going to happen again. Basically, your meshing was wrongly done. Now, there's another method to do it out there with a piece of paper. You could use two pieces of paper. Uh, basically, you cut a piece of paper, the width of the spur, and you basically put it inside and you turn it at the same time. Now what's going to happen, your piece of paper will become like an accordion. You don't want a too tight accordion and you don't want a too loose accordion. You just want a perfect accordion, like a perfect wave that will give you your meshing too. That's doable too. But besides that, this is how you mesh your gears, guys. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that a lot, guys, and enjoy.